Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this is the continuation of the homebrew terms uh, and today we're on Q, R, S and T. So Q was quite difficult. I mean, you know, I'm trying to do these terms from terms that I use uh, and there's nothing I could think of really for Q which I use for my homebrewing. Um, so I had a look online and it was something called quinones uh, which is something that's a particle, something that's found in wort, uh, which can encourage um, oxygen, oh, sorry, oxidizing the beer, oxygen. So, uh, yeah, so I don't really know what that is. So, I, I, you know, I thought I'm not going to speak about something I don't really know what I'm talking about. So, the only thing I can really think of is um, a lot of homebrewers beer is quaffable, you know, quaffable. So that's a, a term, Q, homebrew. Uh, is the beer quaffable? Is it an easy drinker? Uh, could you session on it? So uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a, an easy get out and use the word quaffable. So there you go for Q. So moving on, R. So R, I used racking. Now racking basically means transferring the beer, uh, fermented beer, from one vessel to another. So you could be transferring it to do a secondary fermentation, you could be transferring it to get it off the hops, uh, sorry, off the yeast to put on secondary, so you can do a, a dry hop, some people do that, some people just leave it in the primary fermentation. Um, the word racking just basically means moving beer from one vessel to another. So you've got racking canes, which um, some people hate. I use a, an auto siphon, but it is also a term of a racking cane, but it's just called an auto siphon. So R, racking. So S, spontaneous fermentation. Now I have done this. Um, I've done this. Um, I do sourdough baking. So basically, the, 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 what you do with that is flour, water, leave it out, encourage um, yeast around you. Then you build that sourdough starter up, and then you can eventually uh, bake a loaf of bread. So you've just started off with flour and water. Now what I've done, uh, I've done, done the, I've done, got my own sourdough starter. It's probably about 10 years old now. So I brewed a beer with that, with that starter and it turned out pretty good. So I was quite uh, shocked. It was a bit, a bit of an experiment, but I used that sourdough starter yeast, built a beer, brewed it, and it worked out nice. So last year, what I did, I got some elderflowers uh, put them in a the bucket, some sugar, some water, left them, and it made elderflower champagne spontaneously fermented. And what I did then, the yeast from that, I used, I brewed a beer. So that was really um, spontaneous. You know, there's no commercial yeast in there. It was just left to its own devices. Uh, so the idea is, get the wort. Do you have cool ships? Um, it cooled as a wort cools. Organisms and yeast in the air come down, sort of go into that beer and then start to ferment it and build up and then off they go. So that's like spontaneous fermentation. Um, a lot of it done is done in uh, Belgium, but it is possible to do it home brewing. Like I say, I've done the elderflower and I've done the sourdough beer, a uh, very similar sort of process and just let it, let it go. And it's made some really cracking beers. Okay, the last one is Trub. So trub is proteins, uh, fats, uh, dead yeast, and you'll see it in the bottom of your fermenter when you come to rack that beer off. Uh, so it's like a, a thick layer at the bottom of the fermenter. And normally you try and rack your beer off that, you don't want to bring the trub over um, so you've got a clearer beer, clearer product. Uh, also, you can find trub in the uh, boil kettle so when you've done your initial boil and you've got your wort and you transfer the wort into the fermenter, you try and leave a, a lot of that protein trub in the bottom of the uh, kettle so it's not transferring into fermenter. Again, if it does go in there, you probably get a bigger trub at the end of fermentation. Um, but the, the whole idea is to get it off that trub and you've got a nice clean beer. Okay, so that's uh, QRST and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers for watching. Bye.